اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Moderated Mediation Smart PLS 4 In this session, we are going to look at a very basic model as to how to use Moderated Mediation in Smart PLS 4. Now this is the model, a very simple model that we are going to assess. This is the conceptual diagram. This is the statistical diagram. Now in this case, we've got one predictor, one DV, one mediator and one moderator. And the variables are continuous. Now this is the model that we are going to test. My interest is assessing the indirect effect of collaborative culture on organizational performance here through assurance. And I want to check whether role ambiguity moderates this indirect relationship or not. So we've got a mediation model here and this is our moderator that is moderating this path here. Not only you are trying to determine if mediation is present, whether assurance mediates this relationship, but you are also trying to see if the moderator is changing the strength of indirect effect, whether this moderator here is moderating this indirect effect, whether it is changing the strength of impact of CC on OP through ASR. Now we need an index of moderated mediation and an index term analysis should be conducted when the moderator is continuous. And the goal of conditional mediation analysis is to assess the rate of change or slope. Now, in this example, we are just going to look at the continuous variables. Now, this is how, this is your conceptual model. This is your statistical model. This is the relationship that is being moderated. And when you've got your statistical model, look at this. The interaction of X and W is referred to as path 5P5. The impact of moderator on the endogenous variable in the relationship is P4. X to mediator predictor to mediator P1, mediator to DV P2 and independent to dependent P3. And again, index of moderated mediation is used or calculated to assess the significance of indirect effect in presence of the moderator. The formula, so index of moderated mediation in this case is already provided. For this type of model, it's already provided by Smart PLS4. For other types of model, you will have to calculate the index of moderated mediation in this case, it's P2, P5. Why P2, P5? So P5 is your interaction term influencing your mediator, endogenous variable in the relationship. So P2 into P5 will give you the index of moderated mediation. And if that is significant, then moderator moderates the indirect relationship of X on Y through M. Please note, it is important that quality criteria, your measurement model and other structural relationship have been assessed before and then you are doing your moderated mediation. So what I need is I need to do a process model and I want to be, I want it to be the part of my first model here, this, this project here and all is good. Let's save it. And now here is my model. Let's say I want the data set to be two. Let's say. So what are my dependent variable, independent variable and moderator? So CC, collaborative culture. Here is my IV. OP is my DV. Assurance is my mediator. And role ambiguity here is my moderator. So let's hide the indicators. Control A, Alt, X, all hidden. Let's arrange collaborative culture here, assurance here. Role ambiguity goes here. Let's connect them. IV to MV, MV to DV, IV to DV. And this particular variable here is moderating this relationship here. So I drag it. I'm just going to put it in here. Green bold. Look at the green line. Now we go to calculate and we do bootstrapping. So normally now these days 10,000 is recommended. But for now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to stick to 500. Bias corrected and accelerated bootstrap gives you its more stable solution. Let's do one tailed. I do not have any controls, but it doesn't matter. Come here. You want standardized, unstandardized or mean centered. So let's use the false for now. Let's start. Where are my results? Let's go to report. Look at the path coefficients. These are simple path coefficients that you used to get in structural model assessment in bootstrapping that we normally used to do in PLSSCM model. The same is the case here, but I'm not interested in these results. 
what I'm interested for now is specific indirect effects. Now look at this here. This is what I'm interested in. This here, look at this. This is your moderation, the interaction effect affecting the mediator. That is your path five and then mediator affecting the DV. That is your path two. So P5 into P2, just as we did earlier, where? So your interaction to mediator path five. What is this path five here? Look at this. This is your path five here. This is your path five. And then mediator to dependent. This is your path two here. P2 mediator to dependent. And if you multiply both of them, you get index of moderated mediation. Is there moderated mediation present? Yes, it is present. Look at this. It is significant. So role ambiguity is moderating the indirect path from CC to OP through ASR. So role ambiguity moderates this indirect path. Why am I saying it's moderating the indirect path? If you go down to report, look at this. It is significant. Now this is simple plain moderated mediation in smart PLS. Now that we know our moderated mediation is significant, that is your index of moderated mediation is significant and role ambiguity is actually moderating the indirect effect. That is P2 into P5 is significant. And how do you get it? You can directly get it from smart PLS as we have assessed. Just go to specific indirect effects. Here, specific indirect effects and you will have it here. And we have already discussed this. Now, how did I get this value? So what you need to do is you simply look at this value. This is significant. Since the index P2 into P5 of RA is significant, this is significant. How did you get it? Multiply RA into CC. That is the interaction effect on the mediator. Where is it? Path coefficient interaction effect into mediator minus 0.101 from mediator to DV here. So if you multiply both of these, what you'll get is you'll get this value here. There is conditional mediation. Now there is another important thing and that is conditional indirect effects at different level of the moderator. So have a look CC ASR to OP at mean level of role ambiguity. So this is it. Now what if you increase role ambiguity? Look at this. There is a decrease in the mediating effect. What if you lower role ambiguity? There is an increase in the strength of the indirect effect. And at all three levels, your p values are significant. So this is called probing the conditional indirect effect at mean level, at higher level of the moderator and at lower level of the moderator. So this is a basic session on how to do conditional mediation or moderated mediation with a simple model in Smart PLS4. Thank you very much.